Hello and welcome to the 50th video in this series, Programming a Chess Engine in C. So in this video we're going to do something just very simple. We're going to write one function which returns us a time in milliseconds. And we'll be storing this in an integer. It should technically be a long, but for our purposes with this engine it doesn't matter. We'll store it in an integer. So I've added a file called misc.c, so miss.c, which is always a good sign when you're adding utils or miscellaneous to your program. And in here we're going to put our file. Remember to add this misc.c to your make file. And let's get cracking with it then. So I've already prepared obviously this function. And I'm going to add in first an upper section here for the top of the file, which is some definitions. So if Win32 is defined, and using GCC this will be defined if you're on Windows, then we'll include Windows.h because we need this for the get tick count. Otherwise, if it's Linux or Mac, we'll use time.h because we'll be using get time of day. And I think it's included in time.h, although I haven't tested it, but somebody who's following these videos has already told me once things are compiling so far on Linux, I'm sure they'll test this as well. So the next thing we need to do is actually write the function. I've called it get time milliseconds, and it's really very easy. If we're in Win32, we just uh, get the tick count, and this is the time elapsed in milliseconds since the system was started. Otherwise, we use the get time of day on Unix machines, and I think the get time of day is the number of time, the amount of time elapsed since nine, the first of the first 1970 at midnight, I think, and we have the seconds and the microseconds, so we can just multiply by this by a thousand divide by 1000 add together and then we can return the time in milliseconds and basically the way we use these in obviously is to store one integer as the start and then reference calls to this against the start to know how much time has then elapsed it's not really rocket science so when you've added that in we'll need to go into defs and actually add this function in as an external accessible function like so and then in perfed what i've done just for this video is i've added here a line under leaf nodes making an integer start and got the millisecond count and then down at the test complete line here i've added in printing an integer plus mf and then i'm printing the current milliseconds minus the start to give us the number of milliseconds elapsed and in vice itself I've taken out the commented out perf test line here and I've added another else if clause in here with a P which will then run on the current board a perf test to depth 4 which should then print out our time elapsed. So that's all saved. I'm going to hold my breath and type make. OK it works. And now type vice. So we have our board and if I type a P OK it's running slowly. We're in debug mode remember but it's running OK. And here it says completed 197,000 nodes in 3.9 seconds or 3932 milliseconds. So that's simply how that will work. And one more thing I've done in before I stop this video is in search.c, in the is repetition, I've added an assert here and just to say that the index should be greater than or equal to naught and less than max gain moves. Otherwise we'll be accessing this array outside its bounds and this is a bad thing. So that's it for this video. The next video we're going to start something that's quite a bit more complicated and that is storing our PV in a hash table. So thanks very much for watching and comments, questions, criticisms, welcomes always on YouTube.